That was really good stew. Thank you. It's my own recipe where I use cheddar cheese instead of water. You know, I'm glad we stayed in tonight. It's good to take things slow. Well, please know that when I invited you over, I didn't realize it was Valentine's Day. Yeah, you still have that rotting jack-o'-lantern in the hallway, so I feel like you don't have a great sense of what month it is. <laughs> well, it's just gotten so small that I kind of want to see if it disappears. <laughs> so, uh, first date stuff, where are you from? Well, um, there's a really interesting answer to that question, actually. I was born on the border of Maryland and Pennsylvania. Okay, I feel like I should do the right thing here and tell you that your breast has fallen out of your blouse and I can see all of it. Okay, well, I guess we just <laughs> jumped ahead to date four. It's not the good one either. Would you excuse me just one second? I'll be right back. Oh, geez, Stu, what was I thinking? I think your brownies are burning. You want me to take them out? Oh, yes, please. Um, but whatever you do, don't open that kitchen window. No! No, oh, too soon. The draft made the door fly open. No, it's not a big deal. So we skip from date four to date 20. No, date never. I would never let that happen. Liz, it's OK. I'm a doctor. I've seen much worse. Really? I'm just kidding. That was pretty bad. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I, sorry, I have to get this. Hello? Mandy? Yeah, no, I'm downstairs in 3B. Why? No, Mandy, you can't just drop her off without calling. Mandy? Is that like a guy friend, like Mandy Patinkin? No, I can't. Because I am on a date right now. No, Mandy, don't hang up. <laughs> Sorry. That was my ex-wife. My daughter, Bethany, is on her way up. You have a daughter? You will see her. You will say she's cute. But let me just say that she is complicated. My mother usually watches her when I can't, but my mother has been in the hospital recently and she's not doing very well and it's been hard for me to handle. I'm sorry that all this keeps falling apart. I was really looking forward to tonight. Well, we could try again some other time. Or. I'm listening. Maybe tonight is a gift. Maybe we embrace the toilet thing and the bra incident and my ex-wife and my daughter and we just get it all out in one night. And if by the end of it we still like each other, then maybe it's the real thing. Okay, that would be Bethany. Um, this is it. The express train is leaving the station. I'm on the train. Okay. <laughs> Mom's keying your car. Uh, Bethany, this is Liz. Hi, it's so nice Why to meet you. Why you I got Stu. sick. Stu. Okay, be nice. I will be right back after I go talk to your mother. And give me your purse. Why don't you ever trust me? Because, honey, you keep setting fire to things. I like your bracelets. Girls at my school get them for doing different things on the bus. Blue's for showing your boobs. Purple's for doing stuff over your clothes. Black is for doing stuff okay, on- Okay, uh, your mom left. How are you two getting along? She had some more stew while you were outside. Whoa. Wow, Liz, did you kill the whole bottle? What? Uh, sorry, uh, hello. Yes, Gloria. Why are you crying? Gloria, how many ex-wives does he have? That's my aunt. She is not gonna like you. No, of course, I'll be there as soon as I can. Yeah, goodbye. Mom has taken a turn. Oh, I'm so sorry. Look, I know we said we would take this in fast motion tonight, but... No, no, I know. I really am glad we did, because I don't think I can handle this by myself. Oh, okay. What? Liz knew. <sighs> Mom. Who is that? That's my friend Liz. Hi, Mrs. Baird. It's too soon, Andrew. I know we tried to take it slow. Life. I have more I want to do. Oh, right, you, of course. I'm gonna grab her chart and I'll be right back. Um. Mandy, you look terrible. Oh, no, I'm not Mandy, I'm Liz. Mandy, you have to tell Drew something for me. The woman he thinks is his sister is really his mother. What? I'm his grandmother. You have to tell him or I won't get into heaven. 